Good morning, friends, fans, and followers. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm starting my video today. It'll go into tomorrow too, but um, I'm only working a half day tomorrow. I've got a funeral for a friend's parent. It's so hard when you lose a parent. It's so hard. My dad's been gone almost five years, uh, but we're not going to start with um, sad stuff. This is Thankful Thursday. We hit November. It is the month of Thanksgiving. It's the month to be grateful. Um, I mean, we should be grateful all the time, but a little extra, um, extra episode fun that I want to put in there is thankful Thursday. All right, let's hit it. But first, I two things, two things. First, um, on my last video, I had some comments and out of the spirit of safety, I'm going to try a new I'm going to call it the driveway dialogue. Dialogue, I looked up the definition um, so I don't get corrected. I know it's supposed to be more than two people, but one person, two person. Um, so this is us talking because you leave comments and um, I love when you engage. So thank you. I'm thankful for that. Number one, thankfulness. Um, check. So in the safety, the spirit of safety, I'm going to try and just do my dialogue out the driveway. <laughs> see how much information I can get. Um, that's why I'm starting in park right now to get a few little details um, started. And then number two. Okay, this week there's going to be no football earrings, guys. We lost. We lost. So I'm sad to report that the dream season going undefeated regular season ended last Friday with a loss to number three, our rival Bloomington South. Um, three in the state. We lost 44 to 31, which sounds like a big gap, but it was, it was back and forth until like the last half of the fourth quarter. It was back and forth, tying up, touchdown. We matched their touchdown, but hey, this is the good news that I have to report. It's really, it's really difficult to be sad because in the other hand, I'm like over the moon shouting my voice is still recovering because hunter c got a touchdown <laughs> round of applause for hunter c at number 84 yeah the first play that he got into got in the game which maybe is like three or maybe four minutes into the first quarter first play like i said he gets in when there's two tight ends in the play he's the second tight end and he caught a 10 yard pass for the first touchdown of the game. Come on. <laughs> I promise you, I the announcer was probably like, look, who's number 84? Anybody, anybody, who got, who's got number 84? Zero stats across his, <laughs> across his name. And then, boom, 84 for the catch for the first touchdown and his first career reception in varsity. Okay, not all of that was said, but it was said in the paper. And I'm going to insert that little tidbit from the paper right here. He got in for probably five plays total um, for the game. But what was the touchdown? He made a second reception for nine yards. So his stats right here are two for two receptions for 19 yards. Come on. Come on. I mean, I'm really proud of him. Now, I might get emotional because it's not about the touchdown. It really isn't. It's about... Knowing how hard he works, he works at CNC equipment. He's a straight A student. He um, does all the off season um, workouts. So I'm just really proud of his hard work and his work ethic and his attitude. He's very humble. Both my boys are very humble. Um, so yeah, <laughs> ah, go Cougars, bring on junior year, I'm ready. I hopefully they'll keep him at tight end, but like I said, it's a team. I, I, they wanted to move him to offensive line next year because that may be where the team needs him. It's a team sport, but I'd like to see him um, have a few more catches in his career. Um, <laughs> short career. This is his first full season of football. Full season. Last year, he um, freshman. He was got like four games in, and he had a broken leg. I don't know if you remember that from Mr. C's episode. I think when they're working on. I don't know if it's the highboy project. It was one of the truck projects. Oh, it was the um, shop truck. I think it was a shop truck. And so he had a broken, the not the big bone in your shin, but the smaller bone on the back. He broke that and he was in a walking boot, but he played like four games on it because the trainer said it was a 
bone bruise. So he is tough. Not okay, not gonna lie, that his toughness, physical toughness, comes from me. Mental toughness comes from his dad. But physical toughness, I'm your girl. <laughs> it may not come across, but I'm your girl. So I mean there's Hunter. There's Hunter. Tucker, he did a I'm sorry, I have to brag on my kids today. I do. They are humble, but I want to give them some recognition just to my friends here. Um, Tucker did a, uh, he's also a straight A student. He also is an excellent dirt bike rider. He also is physically tough. He um, did a sign for a neighboring um, antique store. I'll insert a picture on the plasma table. Oh my gosh, it turned out way, way better than expected. Um, and he finished it on time and he did an excellent job. He is very detail oriented, um, very thorough, pays a t that's why he's such a good welder for real. Um, but, and then also he's, like I said, straight A student. I got feedback from a teacher this week that um, he, she really appreciates him as a student and as a person. I love that. It makes my heart melt as a mama. Um, <clears throat> I say these things because a lot of people think that they handed everything. I can see where you're coming from. I really can. But I, I live this life and I see them work day in, day out. Summers, they've paid off dirt bikes. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and Tucker comes across as moody. Yeah, he might be the girl I never have. I've said that and I've told him that because he is moody, but he's intense. Yeah. And all kids are different and everyone's raised different. I mean, everyone's, they were raised the same, but they have different personalities. They have different strengths. Um, so I'm off my soapbox <laughs> about my kids. And I hope you take that as genuine and not being egotistical because they um, they are humble. They may not come across that way, but <clears throat> they're humble. Ugh. Okay, I gotta, I, let me show you what we got outside, okay? Let me, that's frost, folks. That's frost. I mean, I'm in the garage, so it says it's 56, but I bet by the time we get to the shop, it'll be like in the 40s. Look how pitiful that looks. <laughs> We're gonna, that's going in the in the trash this weekend. A sad day. The flowers have lived their best life. I'm cutting myself off from the driveway dialogue because I've already talked a lot. But thankful Thursday starts and I'm thankful for my boys. So that's what I shared. Um, maybe we'll see what the guys are thankful for today. Okay, let's start Thanksgiving off with a grateful with grateful hearts. Um, but we're heading down on the driveway and I'll see you at the shop unless I see something on the driveway to point out. <laughs> yes, I did. Check this out, folks. Have you guys ever seen wild turkey? Look at how many. Look, they're over there too in the woods. Tons of wild turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. Oh, more coming across the road. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. All fanned out. Listen to them. We hear you boys. We hear you boys and girls. Still a little bit of color here on the driveway, but you can see a lot of the leaves have fallen. Um, we're now into the low 40s. Like overnight it happened. So fall is on its way out. Winter, we see you coming. Okay, we made it to the shop and I'm just gonna do a lot tour of the new items. I'm it's just gonna be a, I'm gonna point out some new things that showed up this week. I'm gonna point out, it may not be, um, it's not new, but it is sold. We've got a deposit on the wrecker. I think that's going to one of the Carolinas. Um, South or North Carolina. So if I remember right, I haven't done the title work for it yet, but that sold. 
There's Uncle Scott. Some Jeep bodies sold. Hey, Hong Kong. Let's see. This um, flatbed, it has a very interested buyer. So it has not got a deposit. It's not sold, but it has got some action. I know that the 350 here, it sold. It's just getting ready to be picked up. So that case is out the, out the drive. And then I knew I paid for something this week, but I hadn't seen it up close and personal. I think it's this little beast. He likes his Dresdas. Is that a TD25? Pretty sure. That TD25 is new. Yep. So you'll see that soon. Or maybe not. I don't know. Look at that blade, though. <laughs> it's taller than that little 317. Look what I found. Oh, Uncle Scott. <laughs> Hey, you got any of that Did you candy? smell it? <laughs> if you get in my truck, I'll give you candy. <laughs> Unlock you... the door. <laughs> that make you scared. I should have brought the motor van. It'd been better. I don't get scared. Oh, shoot. Oh. There goes a the... wall. Oh, wait. Whoa. No. It's cold. Burr. It's... Uh, yeah, I feel like the hey, guy, it's the guy 30 the degrees. <laughs> you got a dollar. I felt sorry for you, so I thought I'd drop oh, off some Kit Kats. Thanks. There's and then there. the rest are going in the, um, in the jar. Yeah, jar and Butterfinger, but I know that you don't like Butterfinger, yeah. so you, you know you win some, you lose some. Yeah, I know you don't like Three Musketeers, but I do. I don't, but maybe I should put it in the jar just so I don't eat it. <laughs> so what's going on today? What you shipping out? Oh, well, I got a body kit, a frame. Body kit and a frame. Got to go get a tub. We got a hood shipping out. Are you going to the um to the containers over there to get the? Yeah, I, I got to go to like the one that I need's all the way in the very back, so. I would love to um, participate in that okay. or just watch it. Uh, see, show them what um, is in the containers and how those work. Is it in one of the side load containers? No. Oh, no, it's the it's other. In the regular, the regular container. Okay. Well, maybe next time then. And it's also 30 degrees, so maybe I'll just, um, maybe I'll, it'll it's warm just up. a teaser. It'll yeah, it is going to warm up. All right. Well, I got, I got the candy, so I'm going to fill it up. But today's thankful right. Thursday. What thankful are you thankful Thursday. for? Oh, just being on this side of the dirt. Being on this side of the dirt? Yep. I like that. I've never heard that versus under yep. the dirt. Yep. <laughs> That's the only it's kind of drab. Right yeah, it's kind of more. I forgot it is November. You're supposed to be thankful for yeah. something every day. <laughs> every day, but we're just going to be thankful on Thursdays. Okay. <laughs> okay. Only a couple of them, right? Four? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we can do it. <laughs> Don't get your expectation too Okay. High. Go be great. Hi, Phil Candy. Welcome. I think there's a lot of action out here on the on the yard today so let's go check it out in our unit who she called oh my goodness we've got a jeep back up Which one do you need? Do you need the one in the very front? Well, that's Murphy's Law. Yeah, I needed the one that was in the very back back there. So oh. um, I put another one that was well sought after at the very back of the container. So if you want to give me a call on it, I'll drag all this stuff back out. How do you know where everything is, well, Uncle I Scott? Have to, I have to make me a little chart so I know what's in there. Do you have like a map? It's Yeah, X marks the spot. <laughs> so all of these are going back in there? It's a tight fit. It is a tight fit. Uh, I, I can take them out like three at a time, but when I go to put them back in, I can't see the sides. And it, it, okay. I just put them back in one at a time. Wow, I'm gonna check in here. Those are some long forks though. That's right. I don't think I'm certified for that length yet. It takes a minute. <laughs> you gotta be exact. I'm gonna watch you, okay? Okay. Nice shot. I mean, those are a tight fit. Oh my goodness. Looks like he can go four high, maybe four high. So he's he's gonna he's trying to put them back all back in. Look at that. A little pressure. He's feeling the pressure. Oh, he's 
has long johns on. Oh, yeah. Wow, looking good. What you got? 650G, are you getting ready for paint? Yeah. Wow, thank you. Yeah. That came from the last auction. Oh my gosh. What is this? good about being a part of this. There are some of our other toys guys. Fire truck lot. That one's the, that one is the customers but this one is the one that is no reserve on eBay. I think it's up to $6,750 today so. <laughs> Trip with me. Everybody needs a clean, clean body. We got one. Uh, okay, let's look at the clean body. Donor. What is it? The donor body that's going to be for sale. Yeah. Okay, just the body. What are you taking out of 1992 Dodge? We're taking out it's a part. Two wheel drive. You're taking We're out the... the right thing. We're taking the motor out and putting it in a Ford. <laughs> hey, go over to the fire truck first. Oh, the one that's yeah, the one. Do you know what it's currently up to? You know, I went and looked at another fire truck yesterday. I know. Yeah, I know. Good job. Fire trucks are fun. <laughs> They're fun, but we'll see how this one goes. Okay, it's, right. it's up to um, six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. It is not. It is beauty, and you guys yeah. had fun. We did. I mean, you, the fun you had in it was priceless. Can't was. pay for that. Okay, what I want to do is go on a field trip back to the attachment field. Really? Yeah. Can you take us there? What are we doing there? Um, I want to give you, I want to um, present a little bit of history on the CNC equipment property. Uh, nobody can hear you right now because of the wind noise. In honor of the fire trucks, and everyone's saying that we should donate it to a fire station, which is not a certified fire truck because the ladder is not certified. But we're going to this. Part of this property used to be a fire station, and we're going to take you to it. We we own how many? Okay, a 
11 acres. Almost 12. Almost 12 in the original property. And there was this little piece cut out that was what, 0.3 acres? Yeah. Okay, so tell us what this um, foundation is right here. What was this foundation here and why is it like the blocks are up there? That was here, that was part of the that original was the property. old Travel Act fire station. Yeah. And they moved in 08 or so. Yeah, and then when did we buy this property? Uh, what, seven years ago, seven? Yeah, we've been in the building. 2016? What, um, five, six years now? 2015 or some, 2015, I don't know, somewhere Is when we moved into this building. Oh, uh, 20. The new headquarters. 2016, I think. Yeah, but this, we didn't own this, so it would have been so awkward if the fence would have like cut around yeah, That's this. what we were doing, but we ended up donating some money to the local fire department and ended up with the land, so. Yeah, but it was only whatever you see here, and it flooded, is that right? It did, yep, yeah. it did flood, like, I don't think the water actually got in here, but they wanted to move anyway, so. Yeah, and so they now are like, what, three or four miles down in, in Helmsburg, Helmsburg mm -hmm. and they have a really nice fire station now. Yep. Um, so it worked out, but this was just all field before. It was just trees, yeah. Trees, swamp. brush, swamp. It now was, we got a cool remote control car track and all kinds of stuff. We got the speedway of, Cal of um, Trevlack. Have but, you stepped in the golf cart over the speedway? No, I haven't. Oh, you should do that in one of your videos. I will, I will. I'm building up to it. Um, what? I had one more question, but if that flooded, how did you get, how did we get this from not flooding? So the finished floor of my buildings is sitting uh, 12 inches higher than that one. And so I dug that pond that's back here. Yeah, the retention pond that Papa Rainey's gonna take me fishing. Yeah, I dug that out, raised all this up about four foot, so. Yeah, but what did it take? We had to put how many loads of lime? I had it stabilized three times, I think I put was it 19 or 21 loads of stabilization in here? I don't know how much, but it was a big old chunk of change. Yeah, it was over six figures. Yeah, it was it was painful, but we have no risk of flooding now, right? I mean, sometimes the where the motocross track was, that was still fill up with water sometimes. Okay. But you showed everybody my four tractor. No, let's go check it out. All fixed. Yard tours with you. That's right. Yeah, lot tours with you. I, I was doing burnouts. I'm happy now. I'm glad you're happy now. But so, what is the? What's this? It's what's, a 1997 Ford, of course. Oh, and guess what? It's blue. It is. All Fords are blue. I know, but we, we, we that's our color. I got a video coming out now in December, right before Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. You bought that. What are you gonna do with that tractor? Oh, that's coming home with us. Maybe. I've, yeah. Yeah. Randy's got to wash it a little bit. But yeah. I bought working. it. I bought it. It was hooked on a wheel loader and got drugged through the auction. So it's it looked like now. it was inoperable. You bought it. I bought it for half of what it was worth. So. Took a gamble and it paid off. Because I thought I knew what was wrong with it. You do pretty good on your gambles. Did you gamble on me? Yeah. Did it pay off? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> Time like, will tell. I Time like will tell. Job here. What? Not good. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. Good. We appreciate your time. We know it's valuable. What, on my unit? Okay. Looking good, guys. Go be great. Isn't that a treat? Hey, Lori Lou. Oh, she doesn't want to be on camera. She's cleaning the shop today. That was a treat, a little Mr. C and C tour. Ooh, coming in hot, coming in hot. Hi. Kevin, Hi. where's everybody at? Oh, what? I don't know. I need. Is everyone alive? Yeah. Is everyone getting along? Mhm. Mm okay. What you eating? A Nutri Green bar? Bye bye. <laughs> a what? Bye bye. A what? Bye bye. Blueberry Nutri-Cream Bar, okay, good. Hey, did you get candy in the candy jars today? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who's your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of candy bars did you get? Based on our customer recommendations. Kit Kat. Kit Kat for you. Butt fingers. Butt <laughs> that's my favorite. It's my favorite, and <laughs> let me tell you, like, I was like, don't have one, because once you have the taste in your mouth, you, like, can't stop. It's like mm -hmm. a shark with blood or something. <laughs> I had four. 
but four equals like one regular size candy bar. If that. If that. <laughs> but anyway, I came out here. I was getting down in the office, and this is this is thankful Thursday. Oh. What are you thankful for today? You. Huh? You. Kevin. <laughs> No, I'm not falling for that. Okay. Give me uh, something real. Mm. What are you thankful for? Um. How many days till Christmas? 53. Are you thankful for that? Dang straight. <laughs> Jay! I'm thankful that Jay never pays attention to me. Jay, you're looking good in your brunt boots today, just so you know. Oh, yeah. They're, they're freshy. Hey, what are you thankful for today on Thankful Thursday? Thankful. What am I thankful for? Yeah. Um, a job. <laughs> oh, come on, Weak. Weak. I'm not falling oh. for any one of your thankful guys. Thankful for above said, freezing oh. weather. It's been oh. cold here. Yeah, sunshine today. We're sunshine thankful for that. Open. Are you looking for Mr. C? Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to bug him. He loves it when I go in there and talk to him. <laughs> He's like, go away. <laughs> go away, Jay. Oh, I see him. I'm gonna go ask him. Hey, I'll break the ice for you, Jay. I'll just talk to him later. <laughs> no, I'll break the ice. I'm thankful for my wife. Mr. C. Hey, today's thankful Thursday. I just said it. You didn't hear me. What are you thankful I'm for? I'm thankful for my lovely wife. <sighs> High five. Give me something real, though. That, wow. <laughs> give me something real That's that I'm gonna... Give me something believable. That's it. Okay, give me something else. That's it. Aw, I love that. What are you thankful for me at four? No, I need a forklift. You want me to go get it? No. Oh, uh, I can I'm not sure if I'm ready for that today. I'm not mentally prepared. But what are you thankful for me for? Thankful Do for I make your life parts. easier? Oh yeah. Best secretary ever. <sighs> okay. I'll take it. What are you making here? Uh Cummins motor mount plates. Cummins motor mount plates for what? For a special project? To mount the motor to the motor ho horse. Okay. All right, where's Tucker at? Washing his motor off. Washing the motor off. Did you already um, tell the fans, give them a sneak peek of what is going on with that special project, that Dodge out there? Yeah. Is your day over? <laughs> you calling it a day? I started early. I know you did. When you start early, I start early. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, I do. Yeah, Hey, Kevin. Yeah. He needs a forklift. Kevin, give it to me real <laughs> right here. How many days is this project going to take? Because, uh, I mean, it's... We're, we're not even day one in. I know. Right? I know, but how many days? We're like four hours, technically. <laughs> how many days? We just took a dodge and just said, boom, when it's gone. Said, boom, you're Look. gone. You Look. it. You see the bottom? Oh, she's right. home. <laughs> she's not, home. She's not going anywhere. No. Okay, so can you tell RIP, me Dodge. how many days is this gonna project take? Because uh, it's stressing me out already. I'm gonna say six. Huh? Six days, six full yeah. days? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Everyone can survive six days. I think so. <laughs> Poor Kevin's in the Papa middle. Papa or Andy will too. Hey, Papa. Um, are you are you frozen? No. No, not bad. No, not bad today. Not today. <laughs> huh? Oh, from let it go. Hey, today's thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for? Uh, thankful just to be alive. Oh, you know what Uncle Scott said to be on this side of the dirt. Well, yeah. In I've never thing. have you heard that before? No. That's pretty clever. Because. What, five or six years ago was when I had that heart, yeah, major I heart surgery. Been six feet under the dirt. <laughs> no, no, it's going to take more than that. Oh, yeah. Papa. Oh, yeah, I'm tough. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, but you're thankful to be alive in the sunshine and. Oh, yeah, I'm thankful for a beautiful day and warmer weather. I'm just thankful for everything. Okay, are you thankful that there's candy in the candy jars now? Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, Butter I'm real thankful for that, yeah. Butterfinger and Kit Kat, go get you some. Okay. Break you off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I was gonna do that, but I'll get it, I'll get it. I'll put it away. Oh, uh, yeah. He's spraying that motor off. The one that we're- They took out of this. Yeah. Okay. 
Good job, Tucker. I see him. He's a good power washer too. Oh, hey, yeah. but your job is not in danger. Okay? okay. He's a good he's a good power washer. <laughs> he's but, a welder mostly. Yeah, he's a welder, but he he takes a long time on power washing because he's so like Oh, I do too. I like to get it. But nice you too. are you you are thorough and quick. He's thorough and slow. Well thank you. I thought yeah. I was slow and <laughs> No, not at all. You're quick. You make it happen. Kevin, <laughs> we're thankful for you too. <laughs> But did you get Mr. C a forklift yet? No. Nah. <laughs> okay. You tell me, you want me to, uh, well, let's try it again. Do you want to know what I'm not thankful for? What are you not thankful? Oh. No, this is Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is Thanksgiving okay. month. I'm always thankful, right? Yes, you are. You are, you, you like bleed th positivity. Go help master. Huh? Go help master. <laughs> What is that, like hunchback? Yes, my friend. Yes. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you're not right. I'm going to get you your forklift right now. I asked, what, 10 minutes ago? May I just use my tractor? Hey, you know what I am thankful for? That you're trying to now be we got a more... employees overtime. <laughs> no, you're trying to be a much more patient individual. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're patient, but uh, you have a time schedule that... Maybe when you're not holding a camera in my face and bugging me when I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, but you're so handsome, honey. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm thankful for your... That's what my nine, ten... Your what? My one percent of female viewers say. That you're handsome? That means I have like oh. 11, 12,000 female viewers. Wow, I feel threatened. Should I never be, thought of it that way, should did I, you? No, I have, but I have you. But, you know, the thing is. What? They're mostly probably all husbands using their wives' accounts. Absolutely. So because of those husbands. Like probably. Probably. But those three really like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coming in hot. power washer what'd you wash here babe let's see your motor for your new project truck mm -hmm. okay and what kind of motor is it is it it looks clean you got her all clean what kind of motor is it again it's out of the dodge it's a cummins and what are you, because you're put, turning it into a diesel? Well, it is diesel. No, I mean you're turning the um, crew cab into a diesel. Oh, yeah. 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 What are you taking out of the Ford? A 460. A 460? Yeah. Okay. A fuel guzzler. Yeah. Are you pretty excited? Yeah, I'm tired. I know you're tired. You work hard. I pre And we appreciate it. And you appreciate it. But it's a nice. I don't, want, I don't want Randy's power washer to freeze. No, Randy would be pretty upset if you mess with his um, tools. Yeah, because it's like freezing temperatures overnight now. What's the next step with the? That. Yeah. Um, with the motor, do you have to re revalve it? Re, re no, we're just gonna take the head off and just make sure everything's fine. Okay. What um. What fuel mileage do you get in your current um, crew cab? Uh, it's a 70, uh, yeah, it's uh, probably like, I don't know. I've never calculated, probably 12. 12 worse. miles per gallon? Or worse. Probably. Okay, what's your Bronco get? Not much better than that. No, and what is projected fuel mileage on this? I don't know, if you drive it right, you could probably get 20 out of it. That's awesome. Hey, you need good gas mileage when your girlfriend lives two hours away. Yeah, I'm going broke, but it's okay. Going, oh, it's okay. It's worth it. 
the girl is worth it. Are you going to be able to haul a horse trailer with this new truck? That's the... The goal? That's the goal, but I don't know. Horse trailer, sheep trailer? I don't know how big. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to me. Good luck on your project. Hang in there. Way to work hard. dinner t with me tonight? Sure. Okay. Well, we don't need a gasoline golf cart in here. Or the no. Oh, I don't want to explode. Okay, I'm out of here. But dinner date at four. See you there. you heard it here okay i'm going on a dinner date with the boss tonight i don't know where but it doesn't matter it's gonna be good either way so i appreciate you guys being here and sticking with me i hope you enjoyed some of the behind the scenes um chit chat with the guys some of their shenanigans that they've been into this week a little bit of the projects coming down the pipe um a little bit ahead of what mr c releases hit i mean it's just giving you a little sneak peek a little trailer for his upcoming projects um and it sounds like tucker's project i got a I'm working out the payment details, all right? So um, financing has not gone through, but it is um, in the final phase. So thank you guys. I hope you like and subscribe to my channel, enjoy my journey, and I um, appreciate each one of you, all right? I appreciate the comments, good and bad. I see it all as an opportunity um, to be in your homes. So thanks, have a good week, and see you next week.